did I just say one more thing? There's still two, actually. This game is full of tiny little secrets. None of the major ones in this version. None of the major ones. Uh, but we are here back on the surface of the moon because there was actually a little cave that I forgot to go to. Now, here's the crystal tower just south of, south of there and slightly to the east. There's a little encampment here with a cave. Now, I didn't go here during the normal playthrough of the game because, to be honest, I don't really feel the need to, nor do I feel the need to now. This place wasn't necessary for me, but it could be for you. We have reached a room full of naming ways. But unfortunately, these guys can only hum. These are humming ways. They aren't technically naming ways. Now, there, most of these are pointless, but there are two people here who are worthwhile. This is one of them. He is an item shop. The best item shop in the game. He sells Cure 2's, Life Potions, Ether 1's, Ether 2's, Elixirs, Cabins, and Whistles. Now, Whistles is something that I have not gone over before. I still have one uh, from the final dungeon. To be honest, I have not found that good of a use for them. Um, I'm sure there are good uses for him later in the game, but I personally have not found one, uh, so I don't need to buy anything from him. But let's take a look at that whistle and see what it does. Uh, don't worry about the other thing that's right next to the whistle. We'll go over that in just a second. Uh, let's use that whistle though right now. And it summons the big chocobo, the fat chocobo, no matter where you are. So, if you so wanted, you can grab some of the stuff here. Uh, here's what I have in my stock. Uh, do I have anything from him? I do. All this stuff is, you know, useless to me now. I don't have any use for this whatsoever. Uh, so, I haven't been using them. Uh, the whistle will let you summon the big fat chocobo wherever you are at any given time. So. If you have stuff stored with him, feel free to use it right before the end, but, you know, I didn't really need to. It wasn't that tough. Uh, so, with that, this place out of the way, well, I guess we still sh should talk to people a little bit. Most of them hum. There is an item shop, and there is the naming way in here. Of course, there, one of these is the naming way. I don't want to change my names. But there are also three people up here that do talk. They don't. They look different though, and they're stationary, so they don't really count amongst the other humming ways, in my mind at least. What is up? I had a friend who was very good at making up nicknames, but he went to the blue planet long ago. He was a naming way, I take it. Let's talk to the one in the middle here. What's up? We are the humming way. They're humming ways. It's a typo. Humming way family. Very, very, very nice. I don't know if there's a character limit on on actual words and text. I don't think there is. Changing name? What is it? Uh, basically, that's him going, what do you mean you want to change your name? Yeah. But th that's kind of it for the humming ways. Uh, like I said, most of them just hum at you. Uh, those are all the special ones. Now we can finally go over that special item. Uh, now this is an item that I literally had to hack into uh, the game. Well, technically I had to hack it into my inventory. It's programmed in the game. However, there is no legitimate way of getting it. This is, it's referred to as dummied out. It doesn't have a name. It doesn't have a little logo to tell you what, what it is. However, this is the cockatrice summon now why they took it out of the the final version of this game the original this version of the game uh i don't know i personally think that it has something to do with um abbreviations summons can only have five letters and how do you abbreviate cockatrice into five letters Maybe that's just me. Uh, but really, they should have put it in the game. So I'm going to show it off. I, once again, uh, I'm not going to be using it in any way. I just want to show it off if we can, if we can use it. 
and Rydia has learned the cockatrice summon, even though it says dummy. Now, you saw that little symbol right next to it. That's usually what a summon uh, looks like um, when you um, pick it up as an item. That It's, it's the same symbol as, as this here. So we now have the dummy slash cockatrice summon in Rydia's well, list of magics here. So let's go uh, back outside. I do believe we can get in fights here. We can. Perfect. Uh, oh, and we do have fights against puddins, which is also perfect because they, of course, are uh, strong against all physical attacks, which will give us the chance to show off Dummy here. Now you can only use it on one enemy at a time. Let's go ahead and look at it. Once again, this is not really an official summon in this game. It casts stone on the pudding, uh, which is nice. Um, if the, the enemy that you're up against is weak to stone, it's an insta-kill, uh, which is pretty damn good. And yes, Cecil can use physical attacks on the puddings uh, now that he has the Ragnarok. Uh, there are many things in this game that are dummied out as it's referred to they don't have an official name it just says dummy um one of which is a two-handed ragnarok other than that none of them are really that exciting or important other than the cockatrice summon so i did want to show that off because i know there is a rumor that you can actually legitimately get that in this version of the game you cannot trust me i tried uh, so I had to hack it into my inventory in order to get it. It's still programmed, but it is not officially in this game. With that done, I think it is time. It's time to take on the final boss once again. All right, Zero Miss. It is time to take you on in your true form. I have the best party that I have ever had in this game. I will defeat you. Now, uh, once again, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the Dark Matter uh, Steel. As far as I can tell, it doesn't exist, to be honest with you. I still have the dummy summon, but I'm not going to be using it, because once again, that is hacked into the game. Nothing happened. What? What do you mean, nothing happened? I threw a spoon at you! Go, Bahamut! Oh, Bahamut. I can't believe the spoon missed. How does the spoon miss? Oh, virus. Hooray. Now that I do have my ultimate party, though, I feel pretty damn safe about beating this guy. As you can see, we are absolutely clobbering him. I swore I yeah, threw the spoon in it. Freaking missed. Go shuriken. Once again, just going to do a ton of damage here. I'm not too concerned about my HP either. He is going to use Big Bang. Once again, there was a theory that if you stole Dark Matter from him and used it, that it wouldn't do nearly as much damage for you uh, on Big Bang. I wanted to show off, you know, maybe a difference if there was any here. But unfortunately, once again, I couldn't get it as far as I can tell. As far as I can tell, the Dark Matter itself doesn't exist in this version of the game. I, I've seen it in other versions, but I haven't seen it in this one. So, uh, maybe it's not here. I heard it was, though. But I, I can't seem to get it, as hard as I try. So, uh, let's continue taking on Zero Miss. And this will give me an opportunity, since I don't have to think too hard, to be honest with you. Uh, to go over some of the aspects of the game that I didn't really get a chance to go over last time, because... Uh, the credits finished too damn fast. Um, for the battling system, I do love the battling system with the enforced job classes. I love that, to be honest with you. I wish some of the uh, other games had that. Uh, some of the other games, when you can omni-class, uh, makes it a little bit too powerful for my liking. Uh, there are others that do that very, very well. Uh, however, in this game, I'm not a fan of the enforced uh, rows. How you can have two setups, either two people in the front or three people in the front out of the five. I'm not a fan of that, uh, simply because I like having a little bit more control over that kind of stuff. Uh, and it feels like it, it takes away my control 
of being able to set up my party properly when I have to have a staggered party like this. Uh, let's go ahead and throw Excalibur at him. Um, yeah, Big Bang. Sorry, I, I can't tell with Dark Matter, but uh, as you can see, I'm not uh, overly concerned about dying here anyway. Um, in terms of the plot, I, I have gone over probably the plot more than anything else, but I do like the silliness from time to time. It's just that, you know, the silliness kind of deterred from what would have been a serious moment at time. Um, in terms of the graphics, it was great. This is great for the time, you know what I mean? We are talking about uh, Super Nintendo here. So, in terms of the the graphics, they are, they are great uh, for the time. Does it hold up well? I think that it does. If you haven't played this game, I suggest that you go find whatever version that you want to play and you go play it. Um, because it really is a lot of fun to do, um, even if you know the story. I know if you've watched this, you know the story. So, uh, really, it is, it is fun and I would recommend it to everybody. In terms of replay value, for me, uh, the replay value of this game is not that high. There aren't very many secrets, which is one of the detriments of this game. I feel like if they had uh, more secrets or more side quests, especially towards the end of the game, um, I would have uh, liked it a lot more and wanted to go back to it a little bit more uh, if I had already beaten it. But, you know, like I said, that those are minor things compared to the overall um, aspect of this game. Yes, go ahead and launch your Meteo. You missed anyway. Good job. And down goes Zeromus. As you can see, very, very easy when you're completely overpowered. So that is going to do it for these bonus episodes of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I have been Baller Scoob. I hope you guys have enjoyed this entire Let's Play. I've been joined, as always, by my champions, Edge Kane, Rosa, Cecil, and Rydia. Hope you guys have enjoyed this Let's Play. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Final Fantasy V. Thanks for watching.